Good morning, everyone. Get the little thing going here. Whoops. It's always so much fun to try and get the video going. Okay, so here we are. And um, I uh, had the request for a few um, uh, discussion on different drinks and coffee alternatives and things like that that would be really uh, interesting and fun. So we're going to play with that a little bit. And um, so I have a few products to show you. Um, I don't sell any of them. This is just strictly for the, uh, you know, for the, the, um, for anyone to buy at any health food store here in Port Alberni. Um, you know, I usually get my things at Healthy Habits and, uh, but any health food store or, um, uh, a lot of grocery stores sell the coffee alternatives as well. And just some information about some different energy drinks and, um, well, not really energy drinks, but you know, coffee alternative type energy drinks and so um yeah so i'll discuss a few things with you to show you and some ideas to get really creative with making your morning drinks healthy so if you are looking for something that's an alternative you know it doesn't have to be boring so um so let's start with matcha okay i have a few different things here and so this is matcha i i have it in a big jar and it's, um, it's basically a finely ground uh, green tea powder. And, um, you know, it's, it's uh, super antioxidant. And it's the little powder here. You can see it's very green. It's much greener in the jar. Um, even though I've kept it in the cupboard, it's kind of gotten lighter here. Um, and so, yeah, so it's good for the immune system, super immune system. Um, they, they make claims about anti-cancer. I don't know about that, but I know it has been really used for, um, you know, health programs for people that have compromised immune systems or cancer issues and that kind of thing. Uh, really good for stress. Obviously it has a lot of, um, well, not a lot of caffeine in it, but, um, mm, you could do, I think, you know, it's, it's similar. It's a natural source of caffeine, right? So, um, so it will give you the energy that coffee gives you so but it's antioxidant it has so many so many additional benefits really good for energy obviously um, boosts your metabolism uh, improves your concentration it's really good for the brain I mean most people know that green tea is good for you and it has the antioxidants and um, uh, good for detoxing and all that kind of thing so um, so what I'm going to do, let me see here. I'm not sure if I have enough cups for everything I wanted to do, but I think I will, I will do the matcha here. Um, just to show you the beautiful green color. And I have to tell you, um, I'm just going to go with like a level teaspoon here. It's very highly concentrated. So, uh, even though it may be, um, feel like it's expensive, it's super highly concentrated. You're not going to use a lot. This probably lasts me five years. <laughs> so, um, so the, um, yeah, so what you're, what you're going to do, uh, it is, that's what I was going to say. Oh my gosh, I get so distracted. I was going to say it is an acquired taste for sure. There are a lot of people that love matcha and there are a lot of people that don't. And so for me, I kind of have to be in that mood, you know, the mood for, a nice, um, really, I'd say, you know, earthy, grounding type of, of want. I really want to do something to just boost my energy and just feel really, really good and, you know, ready to get the job done. And so, um, yeah, so it's not something I drink every day, but there are those times when I just really feel like I need that, that super power antioxidant um, boost. And so as you can see here, it's very green and so uh, things that you can do right things you can add to um, enhance the flavor if you're not a natural uh, you know if, if it naturally doesn't really uh, turn on your taste buds then you can do things like add some coconut milk to it so the coconut milk really calms down that um, green tea concentrated flavor and so you can use some coconut milk you can use these guys too of course you know they're the little silk um, hazelnut uh, they have the different flavors um, 
hazelnut and vanilla and that kind of thing. Um, the other thing you can do is, uh, do I have it here? Um, we made, and I don't think I have it right here, but uh, we made the um, concentrated, uh, we took the coconut milk powder last week, I think we did it. You have to look up that video, but um, it was a, a coconut milk powder and then we mixed it with monk fruit and uh and and vanilla bean sugar that we made a vanilla bean sugar out of a natural rock uh, sugar cane we put vanilla beans in it put it in a jar and let it um, permeate through to make vanilla sugar to die for that i should have i actually forgot to bring that out but anyway you'll have to look at that video um you could use that too so you know you're just going to if you want to um make it that much more fantastic uh, you can do a couple things. You can take the um, concentrated coconut milk out of the can here, and you can put that in there, and I'll make sure that all the spoons are clean, 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 everything is clean. Um, you can put that in there. The other thing that you can do to, um, I'm going to do, do two different things, but I'll do it with two different drinks. There's just so many options. You know, how can you... How can you get bored with so many options? You take this coconut milk and you put it in here. Um, and then you actually put it into your whatever you want to do. In this case, I'm going to put it in the Vitamix. And just kind of make it into a latte. So I'm going to show you a couple different things to do uh, with this. Just to make it more fun. It's easy to do. Throw it in your blender. You know, you've got your hot water. Just going to throw it in here. And give it a little um, whip. And if you want to, you can add more of a sweetener, like a maple syrup. So I'm just going to pour this and show you a couple different options. Now this looks, whoops, <laughs> it looks amazing as it is. Okay. So that is with the coconut milk and it's going to... The powder didn't get completely um, stirred in, so I've got a little bit of more of a stir here. Okay, so so this looks great the way it is with the foam on top. Now, if you want to, you can see that layer there, and if you wanted to get more creative, um, you can use the actual coconut oil, which will help it to foam up more. So I'm going to use that in the next one. But anyway, so there's our... Uh, green tea latte and it really does make the difference with having the little um, you could add more of the coconut uh, milk out of the can if you wanted to or less but it just definitely makes it more of a latte so we're just going to set that there I had a little bit of powder you know over on the edge so I'm going to set that there so that's one for you to explore as the coffee alternative. Now that's if you're, if you're one of those people, hey Kathy, good morning. If you're one of those people, I'm just gonna set that there. If you're one of the people that um, goes and gets an espresso, you know, or a, oh, what are those things um, with a double shot? Anyways, you know, you're like into the really super high, um, what do they call it, high test, <laughs> high test coffee. Then your matcha is gonna do that for you. The other thing you can do is you can take your matcha and you can put it with something milder so you're still getting that super fantastic energy boost um, without uh, with uh, attempting to disguise the matcha flavor. Okay, so a few of the products that I have here. This, this one here, I think it's called Krakus. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. But anyway, this is, oh, here we go. How about English? Um, this is from Poland and it's an instant coffee substitute and I have found this to be the closest to a really good quality instant coffee. Like if, you, um, if you've ever tried those little Starbucks um, uh, instant coffee packets, whatever they are, sachets or whatever, um, they're, they're really quite like perked, you know, or, or whatever, you know, they're, they're like a, an original... Um, a real coffee, a really good quality coffee. Amazing job. They've done an amazing job on that. Um, and so um, this is very similar. This is the closest thing I've found that tastes like real coffee that you could actually serve to somebody 
and um, they really won't know. They might think it's like a Starbucks. So this is, uh, of all the different things, this is the closest I found. So it's a roasted barley, rye, chicory, beetroot. Um, and so, yeah, so you've got your barley, you've got your rye, you've got your chicory, you've got your beetroot. So it's super healthy and 100% um, caffeine free. And so you could add this to your matcha to, um, you know, cover up the taste and still get that natural source of caffeine if that's what you're after. So this stuff here, um, I'm just going to show you, um, see how many I can show you here. So it's like a powdery and um, grab another spoon here. So it's just a little powder, and as you can see, I'm getting towards the bottom. This is really nice stuff. So it has a super fine powder, and we're just going to pop it in there and find the lid. And, um, you know, it's nice because it has the chicory and the rye and the barley and the beets, you know. So it's all good things that are really healthy for you. And so what we can do with this is... Um, we can show you, we'll just show you the, um, you know, it's nice and dark. So that was like a, a level, you know, heaping teaspoon. It's nice and dark and rich. Um, the other thing I wanted to show you was just to really have fun with um, adding things to it. So we're going to add some of the coconut oil. And then I'm going to show you the... Um, Make sure all my spoons match with what I'm doing here. Let's see. Okay, so just take some of your coconut oil, which is super good for you too. And you can use a liberal amount because this stuff is just great for your skin, for your body internally. It is amazing. And so I'm just going to drop that in there. And you can... Uh, well, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to whip this up and um, show you just what it does for foaming, right? If you don't want to use a cream and you want to use something natural, I'm just gonna pour the rest of that in there because I am gonna use the same blender because it doesn't really matter to me right here, right now, because I'm gonna drink all of these. So um, <laughs> there's a little flavor mixing. It's, it's totally fine. I know what they taste like. Okay, so we're just uh, lid. Lid's super important in this instant. <laughs> longer because it takes a couple minutes for the coconut to the coconut oil to really foam up and give you a nice little um, you know kind of a latte foam so as we leave this the the air will come up and it'll make more of a latte foam so if you wanted to make it really interesting there's all these things hey Darlene good morning we're going over I've been asked about different coffee substitutes so we're going over all the different ones and so this one here, actually I should leave these here for you to see. Um, that's the matcha. And that is this one here, the crackus. And so it will foam up. And what you can do is, um, maybe I'll just add a little bit more water to that. Just so you can kind of see it a little better. And, um, and so have fun with it, right? Add some cinnamon. You can add cinnamon. Um, you can add cardamom to it, um, like especially if you do the cardamom seeds and, uh, and, and just put them in the little, um, you know, the mortar and pestle or whatever and use the, the cardamom seeds. Uh, I find if you fresh grind it, it's way, way better. Take a couple of cardamom seeds. It kind of adds like a teensy bit of like a chai topping onto your coffee, which is super, super good too. So that's a really good idea. And um, the other thing that you can do, I'm just looking. Okay, let's go with another one here. Um, yeah, we're gonna go with this one. This is what I've been doing every morning because I did uh, quit drinking coffee several months ago. And um, and so it's, it's uh, these ones I've done over the years. And this is, just dandelion root. This is dandelion root powder. So it's it's um, simply dandelion root powder. 
it's just the root ground up and it has you know it it's not as coffee flavored as the Krakus but it has a really nice rich similar to coffee flavor so and if you're adding these other things to it like the um uh you know this uh hazelnut um almond milk or whatever then then you don't really even notice the difference so um and if you want that bite the the bitterness of the coffee then that's where your matcha comes in so you could add a little pinch of matcha to this to make it a just a bit more um just a bit more yeah it's not going to make any difference here so i'm just i'm just looking at my glasses and what i've got planned here okay so we're just going to put some of this in here some of the dandelion root and i do use a generous amount every morning i'm using like a, a heaping teaspoon or you know whatever a level tablespoon um just for that that nice rich flavor so that's going to be the dandelion root and um and so the other thing that you can do and that I do do with these is I add one of my herbal powders. So I know I talk about this a lot, but I think that it's so important for your immune system at this time to stay really as strong as you can and um, keep that energy up. And, and the um, astragalus is just so good because it's, um, it's good for stress. And so astragalus, super good for stress, super good for, well, obviously your, your immune system. I talk about that all the time, how good it is for that. Um, it's also um, obviously anti-inflammatory, um, or I mean, sorry, I was going to say obviously antioxidant, but it's also anti-inflammatory. So it helps for inflammation. It helps for your joints. It helps for your uh, cells. It helps for your heart. It helps for your stress. So um, I would say if you're going to get any one thing, and I know I talk about a lot of different herbs and powders and different things, um, but if you're going to get one at all, get the astragalus. And what's nice about it, and I've said this before on many of my videos, is it doesn't have much flavor. So it's not going to change the taste of whatever it is that you're, um, you know, that you're cooking or using or drinking or whatever. Whereas the ashwagandha, I love it. I really do. It's so good for the, um, uh, it's good for, well, it's good for stress too. They're both adaptogens, so they, they're good for stress. Um, but it's also um, uh, good for anxiety as well, and, it, and it's good for memory and that kind of thing. But it has a bitter taste. So it's, it can throw off whatever it is that you're making and bring in a different flavor. That's the ashwagandha. The astragalus does not do that. It's very similar, but it has a pleasant taste. So you can add a little bit of um, astragalus to your morning brew. You know, why not? If you're going to, um, even if you're drinking coffee, and I, you know, like I say, I've been <laughs> drinking coffee for a long, 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 long time, and I just quit a few months ago because it seemed to be upsetting my stomach. But um, even if you're drinking coffee, um, and if you are, try and drink a really good quality coffee because coffee does have antioxidants and it does have uh, benefits for your health. And um, as long as you're not drinking, you know, three or four cups a day, you know, one good um, organic, good quality coffee does have antioxidants and benefits, you know, as long as you minimize it to that. And, um, but anyway, if you are drinking coffee, uh, do something to reverse the effects of the coffee, like adding anti-stress, you know, adding something for your immune system, adding the, the um, antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, because um, because your coffee is obviously, even if it's a good organic coffee, it's acidic, right? And we do, we have so many things in our life that um, bring in acid environments for us, everything from food to the air we breathe to the you know, the chemicals around us. And so all, pretty much all pain and inflammation is uh, related to an acid environment in the body. And so the more we can bring our bodies into a, an alkaline state, and I mean, I'm talking about tissues and, and um, that kind of thing. I'm not talking about the blood. The blood does its thing with, you know, it needs a certain acid alkaline balance and blah, blah, blah. I'm not talking about alkalizing your blood. I'm talking about, um, alkalizing um, in, in, a, um, in a balancing way so that it reduces the inflammation, 
right? So the inflammation is, is where our problems are. And there's a whole nother bleh on, <laughs> on the different, you know, reasons for that, right? Down to the organs and the, and the um, systems and all that kind of stuff, you know, for the inflammation. Most of the time, although I will say, I'm not going to go into that whole course, but um, I will say that a lot of it has to do with your digestion and elimination. Okay, so let's just go from there. And then we go back to the stomach and the fermenting and how important that is for the gut biome and the immune system and blah, 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 and all of that, which is a whole nother. You can see a, a bunch of my videos where I talk about fermentation and, and the importance of having um, uh, the right amount of beneficial bacteria and probiotics and all that kind of stuff. Anyway, okay, back to the coffee. So if you're gonna drink coffee, do something to uh, negate the, uh, the negative effects, right? So you can add a little bit of astragalus to it, right? You can add that to your coffee. Um, I mean, also cinnamon is also really, really good. It's antiviral. Um, it has lots of different properties too, antibacterial and all that kind of stuff. So you could add this to your coffee to make it to just amp up that, um, put some benefit into it. And, um, and of course, if you wanted to, you could hide a little bit of the, and I don't mean to be negative about the matcha, but it is an acquired taste. Um, but you could take a little bit of matcha and put it in here into your coffee for the, if this was coffee, for the um, antioxidant benefit. Um, here's another thing that you can do is you can, if you happen to be low in iron, and for some reason, it seems that several people lately are low in iron. I'm not sure what that's all about, but um, you can add a little bit of molasses, right? So, you know, depending on, excuse me, <laughs> I need a little, I just inhaled the wrong way. Um, okay. You can add a little molasses to it. Like that. <coughs> oh my goodness, excuse me. Now I'm going to have to go wash my hands. Mm. Try not to drink and swallow at the same time. I will be right back. <coughs> oh my goodness. Okay, well that's what you get when we're doing things on Facebook Live, trying to talk and explain different drinks at the same time and inhale and breathe and all of that at once. <laughs> things happen. You just have to roll with it. Anyway, back to the molasses. So if you wanted to use molasses, um, <laughs> you can uh, add that to your coffee. You can add it to any of your teas and that will give you an extra boost of iron. And if you don't want it to taste like molasses, um, again, just mix your, be, use your imagination and just mix different things into it, which could be, uh, like your cinnamon. One of the things that I also really love to do, and I, you know, you guys know if you've watched my videos, how much I love cayenne, but it gives it a nice bite, right? Just put a little bit of cayenne into that and it just brings it out. It's like if you've ever had, um, you know, uh, um, I don't know what it's called, but the chocolate with like cayenne in it, I don't know what it's called, but the bars, right? It's really, really good to get that little bite in it. And I do put cayenne into my um, herbal chocolates as well. So the other thing you could do is add a little bit of ginger if you wanted to. Um, you know, the ginger can be a little overpowering. So, um, so I only really mostly do that if um, and more in a hot chocolate kind of thing. If I'm doing a hot cocoa or something like that, I would use the ginger. But don't be afraid to play with these and um, go into the uh, uh, just experimenting, right? So, and you don't have to do a whole cup like this, but this is really nice. And the dandelion root, um, to tell you the qualities of that, is the um, super good for the liver. Good for the blood, good for the liver. Um, oh my gosh. Yeah. Talk about antioxidant and, um, all of that kind of thing. Like any kind of, you know, your liver does everything for the body. It filters everything. It works like it's, it is definitely one of the um, most important organs. And so, uh, to, to be able to help your liver, uh, you can do all kinds of things. Like if you're, if you're talking to a herbalist or a natural health consultant or something like that, 
Um, they'll suggest herbs for the liver, which would be like milk thistle and all kinds of different things. And, you know, just go to a dandelion root. It's really inexpensive, you know, for what you're going to use. And it's um, so good for you. It has so many benefits. So you can do this. And then what we'll do with this one is I'm actually just going to, um, you know, you can just kind of play with it. Take some of this coconut milk and... I'm gonna try and do it without spilling all over the. Uh, yeah, I better I better use another um, another utensil here. Otherwise, I'm gonna splash it all over myself, which I might do anyways. You know how it is on Facebook Live; the weirdest things happen, obviously. So you can just let it float around there and create a little um, kind of a latte look. Here, I'll move that out of the way so you guys can see. So. And then all of that foam is going to go to the top. I'm going to put a little more just because it's so pretty. There we go. Okay, so see how fun that is? And so, there we go. <laughs> okay, so that's the dandelion. And it's it's really, really lovely. And it, you can do the same thing. You can blend it up in the blender if you want. Make it more foamy. Add the coconut milk or whatever. This is the other thing that's so good to add to your anything whether it's um, uh, coffee or, or any of these or anything. This is the five mushroom blend. And this particular one is by Wild Rose, um, which is Dr. Terry Willard. He owns Wild Rose College in Alberta and they've uh, since moved to BC. But anyway, um, you can, there are many different uh, brands of the mushroom blend, but um, like there's one from Harmonic Arts and I know um, Healthy Habits here in Port Alberni or any health food store will sell these mushroom blends. And this, I've been talking about this a lot. If you've watched any of my uh, YouTube videos with cooking with the, with the mushrooms, uh, these are the medicinal mushrooms. So they're going to have things like the, um, the reishi mushroom, which, is, which has been known for you know, almost thousands of years, you know, used in China for cancer, for the immune system. It has uh, so many antioxidants, um, stress. It's, uh, they usually also use chag, chaga, chaga. <laughs> I don't know I'm saying it right. They use the chaga and the, um, chaga is like a superfood. It's really good. You know, they're good for inflammation, uh, immune system, again, anti, anti-cancer, uh, formulas, that kind of thing. It's got, um, most of them have cordyceps, which is also amazing antiviral. Um, been really good for, like most of them are really good for the memory, um, immune system, uh, cholesterol. Um, oh my gosh, I can't even say enough about all the different mushrooms. And this particular one, <laughs> I can't read what it says. Anyway, it's got five mushrooms in it that are medicinal, really good for you. So I encourage you to boost this. So if you're going to drink coffee, put a boost in there to not only minimize any negative effects, but to boost that up into a, um, into a superfood, you know, or, or um, something that assists your immune system. So I encourage you to, to get this too. Get the astragalus and get this. I mean, if you want to work on your immune system, it's up to you. I'm just showing what I do because people have been asking. This one here is um, Cafe Lib. I think it's very well known. Um, <laughs> turn the right, right label up. You can't see it anyways because this is a selfie backwards video. <laughs> anyway, Cafe Lib at the end copy. So this one has chicory and um, extract of roasted malt, barley, roasted barley, and roasted chicory. And... Um, I'm not as crazy about this. I think that it is more um, of a, I don't know, it's, it's, it doesn't really taste close enough to coffee. I do, I like the crackers the best if you're looking for a coffee flavor. I like the dandelion next. The other thing, um, and I might, um, it's okay, but I think you have to really dress it up. It's thin. Okay, that's the thing. If you're used to rich, organic, you know, dark roast, which is what I like. Um, this, you need quite a bit of it to, uh, to get that flavor, whereas the other ones are easier to get. So I don't mind it. It's lighter. And so you can do more with it. The thing I'm really, really loving right now is this here. 
and I and I don't know why, but the company really needs to come up with different um, lid because the lid's really hard to get back on. Anyway, this is like so to die for awesome. It's uh, it's a maca, but it's a roasted maca. And I know I've been um, talking to you guys a lot about adding maca to the fo foods and to the um, any recipes that you can because the maca is so, so good for you for energy and stamina. Really good for energy and stamina. Good for the brain. It's really good for the um, uh, balancing hormones. Um, yeah, just, uh, it's a feel good. It's a feel good kind of a, um, um, supplement. And so this is maca powder. And again, get these at your health food store, but it, and it's good. It's, I was, I was, um, saying last week, I think we did a, a Facebook or a YouTube on, uh, using maca because it has a very earthy, um, you know, really good for anything that you kind of want a bit of a roasted flavor. Um, yeah, so I can't remember what we used it, and you'll have to go th look through the videos. Anyway, we used maca in a couple recipes, like food recipes last week, and um, because it really adds to that that nice earthy flavor. But the roasted maca, it it just takes it up an amazing notch. And of course, anything that's roasted is not going to be as good for you as something raw and and unprocessed and and pure. Um, but every once in a while you want flavor that's really, really good. And this is like super to die for. Um, it's called Ma Cafe, not Mick Cafe. It's called, I don't know, they named it M-A-C-A-F-E. And, um, it's called Maca or Maca, 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 either, either, uh, Maca Magic. And I'm just looking for the, um, the actual brand. I think it's just not funny. Um, oh, Herbs America. Herbs America. It's in a little tiny fine print there. Herbs America is who makes it out of Murphy. Hmm. I don't know. Kind of looks like Oregon. Or it could be California. <laughs> I can't see. Anyway, look it up. This stuff is really, really good. If you want a treat that tastes like a combination between a hot chocolate and a really rich mocha um like better than a mocha this stuff is like uh, amazing uh, for flavor it's just like to die for so um okay and the other thing i was going to show you guys too uh was um let's do this we're going to do this and we're going to add some of this they brought this out they do every year and it's super cool it's the um, coconut eggnog which is fun, right? It's Christmas. And if you're going to have an eggnog, uh, it doesn't have to just be like with rum or anything super, super awesome like that. You can add your eggnog to anything. So let's do this. Okay. So we're going to do this and this would really, this will really flavor this up. So uh, I am, I'm going to use two heaping teaspoons because like I said, it's, it's just a, where the lids, the lids, the lids. It's a, um, it's a thinner, to me, it's a thinner product. And I'm going to try it um, and hope I don't start coughing again. But I'm just going to try it to, um, to give you guys, I'm just going to try and describe it again more. So it's been a while since I've had it, so it's not my favorite. It tastes like a super, super weak coffee. That's two heaping teaspoons. And it, and it tastes like, yeah, it tastes like super thin coffee. Kind of, kind of like how some people I know like their coffee. I'm one of those ones, if I'm going to drink coffee, it's going to be like really rich and really dark and really, you know, just the flavor popping, not watered down <laughs> coffee grinds. And it's pretty thin. So what's nice about this is that you could add other things to it because it, it has, you know, that uh, weak, that's the word I'm looking for, the weak coffee flavor. Um, so if you didn't want a super, super coffee flavor, you can, I don't leave much room there, you can add some of this um, eggnog. I wonder if I should have shaken that because it's brand new. I'll give it a little shake. I don't know if you're supposed to or not, but hopefully I won't pour it all over myself. 
I see a great big there, comment there. I don't know. I'll have to read all that. But I will after. Okay, so we're going to add some eggnog to this. Oh, doesn't that look lovely? All right. I want to see what this does in the blender. Um, I have not done this before, as most of our Facebook lives are very um, experimental. And I see it looks like it just went straight to the bottom. Okay, so let's give this a spin. We'll give it a spin in the blender and see what it does. And then I want to see what the flavor is like. The more, um, just so you know, the more that you blend, the more, obviously, the more air you're getting into it. And it does tend to make it um, uh, foam up. You know, it gets the air into it, which makes the foam, which makes it look really super cool. I'm not a barista. Maybe I should get a job at Starbucks so I can learn how to do those cute little swirly things. Or maybe I could watch a YouTube video and figure out how to do those cute little hearts and flowers and things that they do. Um, <laughs> I guess I don't know how to do that. But it'll be really fun to do right now. Um, you know, I could probably draw a design in that one. So you can see that this uh, blended through with the, um, yeah, with the eggnog. And I'm going to, I am going to get, my, get another clean spoon here. I am going to try this without, how do I get it without the, without the foam? Oh, maybe I just have to sip it. Big improvement on the cafe lid. But if you're one of those people that does not like strong coffee, um, the cafe lid could be for you. So there you go. So, um, oh, you know what would be even better? I so look at my things. Look at my things, some cinnamon on that. That would be um, on the eggnog. I mean, how can you not want? How can you not want cinnamon on your eggnog? Okay. Okay. So there's some ideas for you guys. Um, I hope that was helpful. Sorry for the li little introduction. Sometimes I talk so fast and I can't breathe and inhale and talk all at the same time, but, um, that's life. So, uh, yeah, so that's your, can you see, oh, you can see that way better. Anyway, there's some ideas for you, uh, for coffee substitutes or for really healthy ways to improve the health benefits of your coffee. So um, thanks for hanging out. We'll see you tomorrow morning at 11. I look forward to your comments and suggestions. And ah, uh, that's so sweet. And so um, yeah, so I look forward to I'll see you tomorrow morning. Uh, let me know if there's anything else you want to do. Like someone was asking for coffee substitutes. I work with a lot of um, different foods you know, alternatives to dairy and, and uh, different things like that, all kinds of uh, strange product products, products, strange products. So, um, so feel free if you want me to do a taste testing. I've probably tried most things out there. Okay, we'll see you tomorrow morning. Check out my Instagram, my YouTube channel, and share and subscribe.